Right, well, my name's Dan. I've been a volunteer with the Soaks Association for quite a number of years, in the high teens. And I work in a communication support group on the Will. However, I am also an awareness volunteer. And when I wear that hat, I travel about the northwest of England, raising awareness about stroke. In that work, I have met some wonderful people and conducted many blood pressure tests. And on a number of occasions, people have said that they didn't know they had high blood pressure. And uh, when they had it checked, they went to their doctor and presumably strokes had been prevented. Mm -hmm. They say, they, they, some people say, oh, you saved me having a stroke by doing my blood pressure. It's vitally important that people have their blood pressures done uh, and keep it under control as, as high blood pressure is one of the biggest causes of stroke. So you would say then, then, then Dan, that your, your victory as a volunteer is making people aware of the cause of stroke? Well, as an awareness volunteer, <coughs> it's almost impossible to measure the degree of success mm. or to to claim any victories. However, one can only say that by raising awareness that we hope that we are preventing a number of strokes and I shall continue to do that as long as I possibly can. My name is Moreg Montgomery and I live in Formby on Merseyside. I was unfortunate enough to have a heart attack and a stroke in the one day four years ago and my achievement at that time was just to be well enough to come home and live alone. Uh, since then I have been volunteering with the Stroke Association and I contact people either by phone or by visiting to share experience with them, give support, give encouragement to show that there is a good quality of life after a stroke. I know what it's like because I've had three strokes. Yeah, yeah, okay. and the first one I don't know when I had the first one. Uh. The second one I know exactly when I had it. Yeah. because I was in Broad Green Hospital having an angi angiogram and they said good news and bad news the good news is your heart's okay but your brain's fried yeah. so they said you've got a second stroke I said no I haven't even got the first one yet so to me that victory was actually getting back okay. and not being able to read to where I am now well, yeah. still strong with dysphagia but it's not my victories it's the victories in talking to people um, how to relearn to write, how to relearn to speak, how to relearn, most importantly, to get their own confidence back in themselves. Uh, my name is Maureen Askew, um, my husband's a stroke survivor, and I'm a, a stroke volunteer uh, for Bolton Porridge Group, and I enjoy it very much. I got involved because of my husband's stroke and um, um, I just think the victory is that he survived it and he's, he's back at work. And from a personal point of view, Maureen, so you told me about the allotment, is that something? That yeah, we've got an allotment. We've been offered an allotment and it's, it's built onto the school and it's uh, wheelchair friendly and it's, it's lovely, it's got everything we need. Um, I've just been waiting for the bad weather to get over that patch, you know, because mm. they do feel the cold, the stroke survivors. Oh yes. And um, on Monday we're going to go up there and, and decide who's going to do the project and I'm going to run it. So. That sounds like a volunteering victory. It's a victory for me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Andrea. I had a stroke 14 years ago, just after childbirth. Um, I'm a volunteer for Liverpool North and South, and I run the coffee morning for Liverpool. And I think the biggest victory was being able to look after my son six months after the stroke when I was discharged from hospital. I didn't realise I'd had a stroke. Got rushed, sent to NC Hospital, seen to right away, all the usual tests. And then when I was allowed to go home, finally I was tired all the time, but things got better. And then when I finally went back to work, I thought, well, I've got to do something. And I don't know what it was, something came through the post about stroke. 
the leaflets, writing case, and that's how I became a befriender. And I go and see people now, and I can tell them what I was like at that stage, and look at me now. And it gives them a lift, and it also gives me something. I enjoy this as much as they do. And that's how today I'm the way I am now. I'm Linda Chavell, and I had two strokes when I was 34. One was a minor stroke, and then they sent me home from hospital, and then they had a major stroke through the night. Uh, thank God I'm, I'm n nearly better now. I've um, been going to the Stroke Association for nearly two years, and I say to them, don't knock back, look forward. Okay, and so. have you got a, a particular victory as a survivor or as a volunteer? Yes, I, my, my uh, victory is being with my family still. My name's Anne Warburton. Um, and I had a stroke in 19th of May, six, six years ago. So um, I had a very, very bad stroke, apparently. They told my family that if I get to 70 hours, then we're on to something. After that, they trained me. The physios got on to me, occupational. And um, I'm strong now. It's five years, and I'm looking after... Other strokers coming back in, showing them what to do. Maybe if I can help them, I do. Okay, so what would be your biggest victory as a oh, stroke survivor? Becoming um, a volunteer and helping what knowledge I've got and relaying it back. We have fun. Um, my name is Miriam Hampson. Um, I had a stroke four years ago. Miriam? What would you say is your biggest victory since having a stroke? Going to the stroke club. Okay. Because that's really got me speaking a lot better and with other women and men.